What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and today at QuakeCon, Ton Howard hosted a Fallout 76 panel where they unveiled new gameplay, new information, and new awesomeness. I cannot wait for this game. I'm not even the biggest Fallout fan, but for whatever reason, 76 just sounds so freaking cool. I cannot wait for the beta in October, but they brought us new gameplay, new details. I've compiled it and condensed it all out for you here, and we're going to go over the leveling up per card, per pack system. It's pretty darn cool. We'll start off with a little bit on a character customization and creation they show some options here it looks pretty typical fallout uh standard customization fair you can change out your appearance at any time which would be a little weird i feel on servers like all of a sudden you're a blonde girl and then the next day people come back and you are a cowboy hat wearing dark haired man that would be a little odd they also have this photo mode here which is a thing of the day uh, or a thing of the, the time so you can zoom in and create sort of your, your ID badge via this photo system you have expressions uh, poses there's different filters they'll go through that but what I found super interesting was that they show leveling up for the very first time they say when you step out of the vault you will reach level two and that is where the special system and the perk system come into play for the first time so we'll get there in a second uh, as they go through these filters they say this actually was born out of a game jam which is interesting um, kind of a, a small thing but again just trying to add a little bit more personality and fun honestly it seems like many of the decisions they're making with Fallout 76 and especially as it pertains to a multiplayer fallout super smart like they are doing the genius thing at every turn and i cannot wait to see how it turns out for whatever reason i feel like a crazy person but i'm so excited for this this and red dead 2 are my two most anticipated games which is crazy but here we go uh, so this is your first level up you move out of the vault for the first time, you see West Virginia, and you get special. So the way this works is you'll get a special point, and then you will get a perk card. Now, the level cap is 50, and you won't acquire more special points after that. This time, you can get up to 15 in each special category, but you will get more cards. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's look at the cards first. We'll also talk about charisma in a little bit and how they've modified that for multiplayer uh, but here are your seven specials. You can see they're all here, as they should be. And then we'll get to the perk cards. So the perk cards here are pretty freaking cool. And you can imagine how, if they wanted to, they didn't say they would, so don't, don't get too worried, but if they wanted to, they can microtransaction the heck out of these perk card packs. Anyhow, so you pick a perk card when you level up. And when you pick a special point, you pick a perk, typically, in that field, they said. And um, the cards are... Uh, giving you the perks and then they also have a point value up at the top todd said he didn't want to call it mana but it's basically what it is you can equip a bunch of one cards you could equip say you were level five you could equip two twos and a one you could equip five ones a three their perk point value will go up to five um so when you were at 15 you could have i guess three top tier cards um and you can like duplicate cards so that they become stronger which we'll see in a second this is the, the Gladiator perk. It's a melee perk. One-handed melee weapons do 10% more damage. Most of the uh, perk cards are going to center around upgrading you. There are some that will help your group, and there are few that will help you as a single-player player. So there is a Lone Wanderer card that gives you extra XP when you are doing things solo. The good news here is that you're able to swap out these cards at any point, so long as you have the correct amount of special points per category to put the cards in, you're good, and you can swap them out. So when you're playing solo with Lone Wanderer, good. As soon as you group up again, you can dump Lone Wanderer because it won't help you with other players. Now you can see here they have set up this nice deck-type system. It's, it's Solitaire-esque, um, and you will start stacking these cards. And it's, it's pretty cool how they've decided to do this. You unlock a perk and pick a card each level. There are hundreds of perk cards, so you're not going to be able to equip them all and see them all. And that is why they made the decision to level 50 cap the special but still allow you to continue to acquire and change out cards so that even beyond level 50, you will be able to mix and match and modify and maybe even improve your perk card deck or your assortment of perks that you have picked. Um, they wanted to cap the level because they didn't want it to be you know, too, too much disparity between low level and high level players um, and to have like this infinite scale where you could just keep climbing keep getting more powerful they wanted to limit that but they didn't want to limit your flexibility and fun and that is why they chose to do things the way they did 
They're now going to take us to a level four level up. So moving on a little bit, and they'll take this gradual increase to a huge increase later with level 40, um, which is the coolest part. So stay tuned. But here at level four, we have more options. They show that we can double down and pick the same card. In this case, it doubles the power of the card, taking the melee damage from 10% to 20%. But it also doubles the mana or the point cost of the perk card. So now it costs three. Um, so you could decide that you are going to use, you know, a bunch of different perks at lower point values or fewer cards at higher point values. And that's going to be an interesting decision for players to make, um, depending on the cards they have. Now, along with unlocking cards as you go, you will get perk card packs, which is freaking cool. You grab those uh, every two levels early on and then every five levels as you go. And now we get to see a level 42 player. So we have all sorts of special points distributed amongst the seven categories, a whole lot of options. This one increases the positive uh, mutations, which is nice. And this is one of my favorite screens in the presentation because it's so cool to see your whole deck laid out before you've got all these points all these cards no level four or five cards uh, which is worth noting i'm not sure uh, if those are acquired later or if you just have to continue to boost your current cards or if there are special cards that you'll acquire that are strictly level five um, but a lot of ones and twos and some threes here so it's distributed based on the point value you have i want to take a moment as this runs to talk about charisma so normally charisma is the special stat that deals with uh, npcs and since that's not a thing in fallout 7 76, it's going to mostly benefit your multiplayer experience. So it'll help share cards and share perks amongst your group. So someone that invests in Charisma is someone that's going to want to play a lot of multiplayer Fallout 76 and within a group more often than not. Otherwise, that's probably not the special stat that you really want to uh, invest in. Now, they did say that there's hundreds, so you're constantly coming across new ones. And one of the fun things here is that you can continuously and, and as often as you want, uh, mess with your loadout, mess with your perk deck, and basically completely flip your character, not the special stats, but how you're using those stat points via these perks and dramatically alter the kind of player that you are. And that flexibility, um, I think to some players will seem super fun and maybe to a small portion seem a little weird that you're not locked into choices. But here we have the perk card pack. Again, these seem perfect for monetization. I'm not advocating for that, but I would not be surprised. So you get these every two levels, as I mentioned early, and then every five levels, and it's a way to sort of um, increase your variety and incentivize you to mix it up. So they're going to show you a bunch of cards, uh, and you also get a stick of gum in fantastic Bethesda Fallout fashion. You get a stick of gum with a joke, and you can't even eat the stick of gum uh, to reduce hunger, so they, they thought of everything here. Uh, it feels so old-timey and real and 90s, and it's obviously the game's not set then, but it feel, it reminds me of being a kid and opening a pack of X-Men cards or Pokemon cards and getting like, you know, I guess with the X-Men card stickers and stuff like that. Um, so it's very cool how they have decided to do that. And we'll go back to that uh, per card screen because they made sure to say like they try to make it really fun. Um, as you can see, like the, the gold card would be your rare card um, and it's shiny and it's moving. I guess that's where the animated cards come from. So we saw some of those earlier on in the gameplay and the animated ones are going to be... Uh, I guess the the rarer or the most the most special special perk cards, but these perk packs are really fun, um, and you don't have to use any of these cards. They are just extras that get added to your your stack because you can swap them out. So while you are picking one per level up, you'll also be just sort of adding um, in in groups of of four cards to your overall supply or your overall pool that then you can put in or not put in as you want, and then eventually this is where it sort of really impacts the end game is you'll have you know you could potentially have hundreds of perk cards to pick from and then you can continue to change out your loadout and change out your perks to fit whatever you're trying to do whatever quest they mention you know, if you're going for uh you know a lot of things with groups if you're going solo if you're going to take down a monster if you're trying to take down other players if you're you know base building whatever you're doing you can kind of set your deck to best fit that. And I think it's cool how they decided to retain special, retain perks, but you know, kind of remix it in a really interesting way and give you this deck card system. Everything just looks so cool about the game. It looks so smart. I'm gonna talk PvP in a different video because I think the way they are handling it there may be the best thing they're doing. How they have decided to handle players trying to grief slash troll other players brilliant i love the system and i'll share that with you uh, in a different video but for now let me know what you think about the leveling up system and how you feel about these perk cards would you be interested in buying the packs if they put them out that way since there are hundreds of cards if you did not want to invest in getting all the way to 50 and beyond to acquire a good portion of them 
maybe just buy some packs and then you have plenty of options for your special new vault dweller now west virginia wanderer i think the game looks fantastic cannot wait for the beta let me know your take in the comments down below everybody thanks so much for watching a fantastic day and you had fun watching the video till next time drink much chocolate, and we'll see you all later